From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Our holiday countdown continues Thanksgiving next week, nine days away. Black Friday, obviously the day after Christmas, 41 days away and New Year's Day, 48 days from today. Hard to believe we're already talking about 2024. Here, the latest from Explore Fall, the colors of fall continue to kind of spread across the Midlands and the Palmetto State. And you'll notice at least in parts of the upstate already at peak color, and that'll continue to spread across our area as we go through the rest of November. Sunset this evening, 522. Sunsets continue to get a little bit later. Yesterday wasn't bad across the Midlands. Did manage to make it up to 68 degrees. We had a good bit of sunshine, no rain, obviously, yesterday. We did pick up some rain over the weekend, some much needed rainfall as well. Pretty quiet weather for today. We do expect these clouds to kind of stick around throughout your Tuesday, and there'll be more clouds, it looks like, for tonight. So mostly cloudy skies Wednesday. We'll call it mostly cloudy skies as we go into Wednesday afternoon. Later in the day on Wednesday, basically after sunset or so, there will be that small chance for maybe an isolated shower, a little bit of light rain. Once again, if we get any rain, it's going to be relatively light, and that's going to be the case for Thursday also under these overcast skies. For today, temperatures topping off, we'll say generally in the mid to maybe even upper 60s under those mostly cloudy skies. Here's our forecast from the European forecast model and chance for rain probably Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe Friday. The biggest thing is I've been paying attention to is the weekend. It looks like the weekend's going to be clear and you'll notice basically that same weekend forecast with the GFS, but a bit unsettled Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, both the American model and the European model showing that. Not expecting a lot of rain if we are to get much, basically trace amounts, a hundredth to maybe a tenth. Some isolated areas may get a quarter of an inch and that would be over the next seven days. As of today, 90% or at least close to 90% of South Carolina is suffering from some form of drought at this point. We did pick up some rain over the weekend. They'll give an update on this Thursday. We'll see if the rain over the weekend made any dent in the drought, but partly sunny skies today, highs in the mid to maybe even upper 60s for some locations, low 60s tomorrow, mainly cloudy, mid to upper 60s on Thursday, chance for a few showers Friday with highs in the lower 70s. As we mentioned, the weekend's looking pretty good, 70 degrees on Saturday, mid 60s on Sunday, the coastal region looking good over the weekend, 60 degrees or low 60s, I should say Sunday, near 70 on Saturday, upstate upper 60s on Saturday, We'll say low to mid 60s Sunday. So if you're going to be traveling upstate or the coastal region, looking good over the weekend. Eight to 10 day, or I should say eight to 14 day temperature outlook, warmer than normal, November 21st through November 27th. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit wetter than normal as well. We're still watching this little area. Hurricane Center gives us a high chance of further development over the next seven days. So we'll monitor that as we continue to move through the month of November. Keep in mind, hurricane season officially continues until November 30th.